Hello! In this video, we are going to build a dynamically updated exchange rate converter like this one or calculator. It has two sections, so two drop downs, uh, the green uh, cells, and you can select different currency from these uh, two uh, green cells. So the first section is from uh, foreign currency. You select the amount to the fixed currency, which is Canadian dollar in this case. And the second section is from Canadian dollar. You add the amount that you're interested to calculate, and then you select from the drop down uh, the currency you want to convert to. What we're going to learn, we're going to learn how to um, export a table from a website. So use data on a website dynamically updated um, on a daily basis for all different um, currencies. So in this case, what we see in this table, we have, for example, Argentine peso and one Canadian dollar is equal to 54.69 Argentine pesos and the second column is one Argentine peso is equal to 0 0.018 Canadian dollars. So we will learn how to get this imported in Excel, build a calculator and uh, add two small macros to refresh and clear selections. So once we open this uh, document. It will be easy to use uh, and calculate our exchange uh, rate with the currency on the today's date. So for example, we clear selection, everything is deleted and we can start from scratch selecting, for example, Brazilian real and let's say 10 and we have 50 Canadian dollars that we want to see how many British pounds are equal to. Without further ado, let's start with the project. We have to go to uh, the web and find our website. So let's open here. This is actually the website. And you can uh, use this website and change your currency, for example, to US dollar or British pound or whatever it is uh, useful for you. Uh, in my case I will stick to Canadian dollar and make sure that the table you're using, the exchange uh, rate table from uh, the web has a constant uh, or consistent uh, headers. So in this case this is not going to change every day. So once we click refresh it will always refresh and uh, communicate with this website. So let's copy uh, the URL and go to Excel. I'll open a completely new workbook and go to data, uh, new query and from other sources from web. Once we select this we paste our URL and click OK. So we have several options here presented as tables and we're going to use the last one uh, that has the most currencies. So let's open edit. Once we open edit we can fix any uh, weird things with the data. If something is incorrect uh, we can fix it here but let's uh, change the name of the table to exchange rate table and because everything looks good to me I'll close and load to a specific place so I can add it to the existing worksheet as A1 and load over here great let's update our tab to exchange Great table, and now we can move to a second tab and build out our calculator. To save some time, I have copied and pasted the format of the calculator, and we can just rename the worksheet to um, exchange. 
change rate calculator and start with uh, the data validation. So go into here, click data validation, we'll select list and we'll get the list from the exchange table. So uh, control shift down arrow and we'll get our list. Okay, let's select, um, let's say, British pound and do the same over here. Data validation list, source of the list is in the second uh, web sheet. And second spreadsheet, sorry. And now we click OK and we can select. Let's select Brazilian real. Uh, we'll type here Canadian dollar and copy over here and now we can just type one unit for our calculation and start um, building our formulas. So we'll do a simple VLOOKUP over here. We look up the British pound into our uh, table and we will bring the third column so three and then false and all this we need to multiply with the amount from uh, B8 and that will be our one British pound equal to 1.75 uh, Canadian dollars like over here and then because we don't want to get an A when this is deleted Oh, it doesn't say an A, but if we don't have anything over here, then we get an A. So if we want to fix the NAs, we'll add uh, to the formula if error. So if error, let's bring blank and that will be fixing our issue, right? Okay, so going back and this is the first uh, portion of the calculator ready then we'll come and fix our formula over here so we look up we're looking uh, this uh, cell d10 into our exchange rate and we'll bring the second result from the second column and multiply with the amount that has been selected in D8. Now this is uh, one Canadian dollar is equal to where's the Brazilian real over here 4.02. Again we don't want an NA if uh, it's empty, right? So we will add if error and it will bring blank when nothing is selected correct let's do now our uh, macros so we want to build two macros to refresh and clear selection. First, let me explain how uh, we can update our refresh and we can uh, set it up uh, automatically to be done. So when you go to data and refresh all, you can manually select and refresh it. And you can see here, it, it refreshed and told us that 3.23 p.m. it was refreshed last time. If you go to uh, refresh all, click in connection properties, 
you are able to change the refresh. So enable background refresh is selected right now, but you can refresh on a certain uh, number of minutes uh, up to like the minimum is one minute. If you want this, if it happens uh, all the time, things are changing, you need this. Uh, refresh every one minute. That will be the best option. If you want, you can select refresh the data when opening the file and actually pick all of them at the same time. Uh, and you can only keep it to manual refresh. So let's keep these selections, but do our refresh as a macro as well. So coming here, let's build the macro. You can find the macro on the developer tab or on the view tab, macros, and then click record macro. And our first macro will be refresh macro. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on refresh. Okay, and stop the macro. Now that we've done it, we can go to this button and right click assign macro and we'll assign the refresh macro. Okay, the second macro will be clear selection. We want to clear the selection from the drop downs and the selection of the units. So let's go again to view, record, view macro, call it clear selection. Okay, and now we will delete this, 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 and this, and stop. And now we have our macros, clear selection and refresh, and we will assign the clear selection to this button. Make sure when you save your uh, file that you save it as uh, macro enabled so let's save it here but the macro enabled uh, is the second option so it will be excel sm option and we'll call this change ray calculator And now we can start using it. So let's find view installer. And you can click refresh. You see over here the refresh is happening. And every time you want to see, you'll see what time it was refreshed. And if you want to clear selection and start from the beginning, start with different currency, you just click. Um, the clear selection button. Let's use something else now. Norwegian Chrome 100 to Canadian. If you want, for example, to go from Norwegian Chrome to, let's say, British Chrome, and you you can use this, copy just the value, and then. 100 crones are equal to 8.47 British pounds. So that's even another option to uh, convert to different currency from one to another through Canadian dollar. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please don't forget to uh, click the like button and subscribe for more and share with your friends. See you!